I'm going to be filming my first YouTube makeup tutorial today. I'm just going to start by doing like my go-to makeup look. I've done this on my TikTok a few times and I've probably posted it on Instagram but I think it'd be good to just have like an in-depth tutorial because this is just what I do if ever I'm going out for dinner, if I'm going out because I don't really have the patience for my own face anymore. So when it comes to like going out I just want to get like the makeup on my face and I want out the door. So this is what I do. I hope that this lighting's okay, but I really don't know if it's good enough. But anyway, it's my first video, so this is what we've got. So for skin prep, I don't really like to do too much underneath my makeup. So I usually just start with like a hydrating serum. This one's from Ren. It's the Smooth Prep and Plump Essence. Um, just kind of pat her on. My skin type is normal to dry, and most of my dryness is like around my eyes. So I always go in with an eye cream as well. My favourite one is this one from Ren. I've went through like maybe like five tubes of this. This is the Brightening Dark Circle Eye Cream. And I'll just put that under my eyes and kind of onto my lids, just all around my eye area. And then my favourite thing to use underneath my makeup is this Tatcha Dewy Cream. Honestly, this is beautiful. It's really nice and moisturising and it just gives your skin like the nicest glow. Whenever I do this look, I'm usually just trying to get my makeup on fast and I find that I always do my makeup fastest when I start with skin. So I'm using my actual holy grail, which is NARS Radiant Longwear. I usually go between the NARS and the HMB Soft Focus Foundation. Um, and sometimes I mix the two, it just kind of depends. And then I use this Sigma sponge. She is not clean. Also, I know this shade is too dark for me right now, but I'm like going from fake tanning to a natural tan, so I'm not fake tanning anymore. Um, but I still, I just want to be the same shade. Um, so I think I'm just gonna put some instant on my neck. I'll quickly put a tiny bit of this Vita Liberata Body Blur on my neck. I swear I actually have a tan in real life. Like, I don't know why. I always look so pale on camera and my foundation always looks so yellow. This is actually lovely, by the way, for if you just like need a little bit of an instant tan. It's beautiful on your legs and stuff as well. I think that's what it was actually made for. And then I'm just going to take the foundation down. Anyway, that's a bit better. This is the shade Barcelona. I feel like everybody knows how good this foundation is, but it's honestly just never failed me. It is so good. It's just the perfect foundation in my eyes. And you really can like sheet it out and build it up. Like I feel like it's just, it does everything. And don't forget your ears. My ears are always so red. For concealer, I'm going to use the HMB Soft Focus Concealer. And I used the shade 2W in this. And I just put this underneath my eyes, in the center of my forehead, chin. And I find that I get quite red in my nose here. A little bit to highlight the sides of my eyes. And I'll just blend that in with the sponge. This concealer is just so beautiful. And see for the price as well. I think this is like £12. But the coverage on this is just so good. So, so good. I didn't even use that much. Okay, now everything is blended out. We have our nice blank canvas. I'm going to go in and contour. And my favourite thing for cream contour is the Huda Beauty Tan Tour. This, for me, is just the most blendable. It's the nicest colour as well. Like, it's perfect in between, like bronzy and contouring it's not too orange and it's not too cool toned i love it and for this i like to use a brush this one is a morphe r46 and i just pick a little bit up so i just start this at like the top of my ear and i'm just kind of tapping it on and blending it towards my cheek you can see how it literally just blends as you apply it I don't really like to do the whole like drawing everything on and then blending it out. I just like to apply and blend at the same time. Up around my temple as well. A little bit along my jawline. And especially I like to contour like this part of my jaw, like underneath my ear. Because I feel like that just makes that little angle pop. Also just go over my eyelid at the end here. Just basically go over my whole lid. I love when your bronzer blends into your eyes. I feel like it just looks a lot more cohesive. It kind of gives you that, that little brow lift effect. 
I actually have like a semi cute background right now. If you follow me on TikTok for like a while, when I first started my page, actually not even when I first started, up until like last year, um, I used to do my makeup in my kitchen. Like all my makeup tutorials have got like my kitchen sink and my dishwasher, not my dishwasher, I don't have one of those, but my washing machine in the background, like it was the worst background ever. But recently I've invested in some nice makeup storage for my room and done my whole room around. And oh my God, the difference that it actually makes like I actually enjoy filming now because I actually have a nice space to do it in. I'm gonna do my favorite part of my makeup routine, which is nose contour. So I'm gonna go in with the tan tour again. I meant to say as well, this is a shade light and I'm picking a little bit up on this Mitchell M, is it MC? MC4 brush. Don't judge my brushes by the way. I actually really have stopped cleaning them and that's so awful, but it's just the truth. So I basically just start underneath my nose here. This kind of gives you that like lifted look because I feel like my nose kind of droops down at the end. I just kind of pack it on underneath. You can see my nose just looks like the tip of it just looks lifted already. If you tilt your head down, look here, you can see that like naturally you get these two lines where the light kind of reflects. So I'll just lean my head down and then go alongside those lines. Do you see what I mean? That kind of gives you where to apply your nose contour. And I'll just blend this along the sides and pull it up into the front of my brow here. And now we kind of already have eyeshadow on because we put our bronzer on the outer and the inner corner. So it's kind of like contoured the eye. Do the same on the other side. Don't know how I ever used to do my makeup without nose contour. Like this honestly is what makes my makeup. Okay, so it's a little bit messy right now, but that's okay because now I'm gonna go in and clean up. But now that all the bronzer's on, I'm just gonna take my sponge again and with the foundation that's left on it, I'm just gonna kinda clean up. Just so there's no like harsh lines, it's all nice and diffused and blended. And then I'll take the side that I done my concealer with and I'll just clean up the sides of my nose. Sometimes if the nose contour is a bit strong, I'll just use the middle of the sponge where there's no product and just kind of bounce it on to blend it out. I'm going to use the P. Louise Melon Mood Liquid Blush on the high point of my cheeks. And I'm going to blend this out with a Mima 06 brush. 60? 09? Oh nine. Oh nine. These blend out so easily. Just tapping that in. I think I'm gonna apply a little bit more. I kinda want a darker blush. I need to buy myself another one of these. This, I use this blusher literally to death. I really need to buy another one because it's totally finished. But I think this might be my all time fave. This is made by Mitchell Posey Rosie. This is the nicest pink you'll ever use in your life. Do a little bit more. This. Yeah. And again, after blush, I'm going back in with the sponge and just clean in everything up making sure it's nice and seamless. I like to take my bronzer brush again and just tap in between them just so that they're nicely blended. Because I've went over my concealer so much, I feel like I've kind of taken away some coverage. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the lighter shade. This is 1.5W and literally just like a tiny dot on each side to add a little bit more brightness and coverage where I've taken it away. I get such a shadow here. So I always want my under eye to be quite bright to try and cancel that out. While I'm blending out that lighter concealer, I'm just gonna press it onto the inner corner of my lid just to brighten up that area as well. And that is all our cream products. So now I'm gonna set everything. This is my Holy Grail Powder Duo. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush, 
airbrush flawless finish and this is the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Sugar Cookie which is just translucent I think. So first of all I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury. Underneath my eyes can crease quite fast because I do have quite like I've got a few prominent lines here so I'll look up and blend just kind of make sure everything's not creased and then get some powder on my puff and just tap this really really gently right under my eye and this powder like how how does it do that i have been having a problem recently though where when i'm putting my powder on the side of my nose it's like taking off my concealer and this never used to happen and it's the exact same product that I've always been using. Um, so I'm currently figuring that out but hopefully it doesn't happen right now. And you can see here the difference like powder and not powder. This is airbrush flawless. Like oh my god. The way it blurs my skin is amazing. If I'm looking not in the camera the whole time it's because I'm more or less actually just doing my makeup in my phone screen also I, i'm filming this on my phone but i do actually have a camera but like i don't know how to use it so it will be phone videos until i look at some youtube videos or something on how to actually film on it because i just take photos with my camera for now but probably is really good to film on then i'm just going to take this peaches pc 15 brush and pick up some of the powder just pop this on my forehead and just kind of over the center and a little bit along my jaw here. Okay, and now I'm gonna go in with the Huda. This seems like excessive, but I swear it's not. Pop in my little puff in there again. And this time I'm gonna bake. Basically just pop this along the sides of my nose contour. Just stamp it on. So this kind of defines the nose contour and then it bakes your under eye so it'll brighten it as well. Do you see what I mean? There's like a patch here. I don't know what this is, but I need to get to the bottom of why that's happening. I'm gonna bake my smile lines as well. So I'm on my forehead for good measure. While the bake is baking, we're gonna powder bronze. So I use these MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes in two different shades. So first is dark tan and I use a kind of small brush, again, dirty, just whatever. This is a DB10 and I just use this to really define my cheekbone. This is the shade that I kind of use as like contour. Just really going over all the places that I put the cream. And now I go in with a bigger brush. This is the Real Techniques blush brush. And I use the shade Give Me Sun. This is like a really orangey bronzer. So I kind of just pack that on the big brush. And this just goes over basically my whole cheek and all the perimeters just to warm up my face. And I feel like right here, my bronzers came down a little too far. So I'm patting off the excess from my powder puff and just cleaning that up. Okay, so now I'm just going to take that same peaches and cream brush that I use and I'm just going to do a little mixture of like patting and kind of flicking this powder away. Now, this little patch has appeared, but I do know how to fix this as well. So if you get the same problem, I don't know how to fix it from happening in the first place, but when it happens, I know how to sort it. So I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to use the Dior Rosy Glow Blush, of course. This is on a peaches and cream PC03 brush and just tap this along the top of my cheek. This is just the prettiest pink. I love it. And more or less every step, like I've basically been saying, more or less every step, I just go in with kind of what I used before to just make sure everything is blended. Makeup really is like a process, isn't it? Okay, 
now we've went in with so many powders we've baked like everything is quite matte it's quite powdery so now is when i need to go in with a setting spray and my absolute favorite at the moment is this one it's almost done actually it's the beauty crop and amelia olivia glow milk mist this is so good and it's so nice and glowy this is just going to melt all the powders back in and give like an actual natural skin like look again kind of drench my face in this hmm. smells really nice as well and then i want to get my under as well so i can try and look up probably shouldn't do that but i always find that the setting spray goes everywhere apart from right underneath my eyes and i want it to go there this is why it's almost run out and i'm just gonna fan that in and i feel like you can see already how this has just kind of like made everything a bit more natural and not like a mask of makeup now to sort this little issue with the side of my nose it's gonna go back in with the charlotte tilbury powder and take a little bit because this kind of has coverage in it so i just press it over and usually this solves the issue just brightens it up a wee bit that's where we're going to leave the skin for now and as for eyes i really don't like to do much so i'm just going to take the dark tan mineralized skin finish that i use on my cheeks and i'm just going to go in and use this as an eyeshadow in my crease now i just love bronzer as eyeshadow like i can never find an eyeshadow that's like the right brown so bronzer just makes it all just blend in so seamlessly or if I am using a brown, let's just say I was doing a brown smoky eye, I'm always using my bronzer as a transition colour. Makes it so much more natural, so much more seamless. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that bronzer on a smaller brush and just run it underneath my eye. I used to not like any sort of eyeshadow underneath my eye. But I've realised now that it suits my eye shape a lot more to have a little bit of shadow. And it helps with like under eye creasing as well. Like if your under eyes crease or you have lines underneath your eyes, it's not going to be noticeable or as noticeable if you've got a little bit of eyeshadow underneath. On my actual eyelid, I'm just going to take the Charlotte Tilbury powder again and use it to brighten up the inner corner of my eye. First, I'm just going to dab the leftover concealer from my beauty blender onto my lid and then I'm going to set it with this Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is so good as well for when you're traveling because you don't need any eyeshadow or anything, literally just your face products but you still get a little eye look just using your bronzer and powder. But sometimes if I've got a bit extra time I'll go in with an eyeshadow or like a little brown um, like smudgy liner and I'll just smudge a little wing into the outer corner but just going full basics today. On to brows. I'm first of all going to go in with the Makeup by Mario Master Hold Brow Gel. I've actually just recently tweezed loads of my eyebrows off because I just love like the thin 90s, 2000s brow. And honestly, my brows were never that thick to begin with. So I'm not really losing much. Just brushing them into place. And to fill them in, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pen. This is the shade Soft Brown. This is a new one and when these are new, they're really, really pigmented. So honestly, just the lightest, the lightest touch. I'm kind of just doing little strokes. I kind of want to pluck even more off this end because this one's so much higher than this. But then if I pluck the end off, I'll actually have no end of my eyebrow. I think I'm going to have to finish these off camera so I can actually concentrate because I feel like I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, the brows are done. I've never understood why in like YouTube videos people would say, oh, I'm going to do my brows off camera and I'm going to come back. But now I get it because it's actually just added pressure. But these are the brows. I love how natural the brow pen is. I feel like it's just my favourite at the moment. I used to love a pencil, but this is the one. I'm so sorry if you can hear like pigeon noises, by the way. I swear... There's like a nest of pigeons in the roof of my flat. I can hear them constantly and it's awful. 
and I'm gonna go in and do my lashes and I always 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 curl my eyelashes for some reason this is a step that I just never used to do in my routine but now that I've tried this curler this is a tweezer mint lash curler and I never used to think there was such thing as a good curler or a bad one but oh my god this is the one it's expensive but it's worth it it fits your eye so so well just give your lashes the most beautiful lift now that my lashes are nice and curled i'm going to go in with my favorite mascara which is maybelline sky high and just do a nice light layer this is such a light mascara so it really doesn't weigh your lashes down at all oh my god those lashes look insane you need them to separate asap well, i don't know if anyone else gets this but this is the side of my face that I sleep on. So these lashes all, are all just fanned out nicely and then these ones are like squished and they like go in that direction. And it really, really gets on my nerves. Like, look how much more even these lashes are. I like to do a tiny bit of mascara on my bottom lashes, just like right at the root on the outer corner. Whilst my mascara is drying, I'm going to do my little beauty marks here. And then I like to do one under my eye, in the corner of this brow. Two on my nose. These ones are actually like real freckles, but they get covered. So I just kind of go over them. And then I like to go over this one. One on my cheek. And another one here. And I do the same ones every single time. But I love these. I feel like they just make me look like me. I'm going to put a lash on, but I'm just going to do my lips first. So this is my all-time favourite lip liner in this entire world. This is the Doll Beauty You Go Girl lip liner. I only ever really use Doll Beauty lip liners. These are just amazing um, and they're affordable too. So it's a win-win. This is like the perfect pinky nude and I love a pink nude, especially with like the pink blush. It's really nice. That colour is just perfect. I overline my top lip a bit, but I don't, I don't like to overline the bottom. I just kind of fill in all the edges. Now I use the Doll Beauty Dolled Out Lipstick and just apply a little bit to the centre and tap it in with my finger to blend it out. And I usually just need to go back in with the liner a little bit just to blend it in. This is so nice matte. I usually add a gloss, but I feel like maybe today I'll, I'll leave it matte. I'll put lashes on and then I'll decide. As for lashes, I don't really have a favorite lash at the moment. So I'm gonna have a look in my drawer and I'll see what I have. I had a little raid through my drawers and I've got the Doll Beauty Anastasia lash. And I also have the Samantha lash. I think we'll use the Samantha lash because that's only fitting, but I feel like these could potentially be a bit bigger than what I'm wanting. These are like a full lash too, so I'll basically cut like the majority of a lash off these days. I cut the outside off. I don't cut the inside because I like to keep like the shorter bit so it blends better with my natural lash. So always cut the longer side off. I've cut them down so now they're like this size. And I'm just gonna stick these on with dual glue. This is just the best glue, in my opinion. She's the OG and it just works. I just apply my lashes with my fingers too. I find this the easiest for me. These were maybe a little bit bigger than what I'd wanted, but that's fine. Open the other one on. I think I'm still to find my lash like my perfect perfect lash i feel like i just want to make one honestly because i never change up like my lash look i like the exact same every single time now i'm just taking these little lash tweezers and giving my lashes a little pinch i do something to my hair and then i'll be back and this is the finished look this is a little close-up do you know what? I'll do some gloss so I can show you this lip with some gloss as well. This is Maybelline Lifter Gloss 002. My hair. 
I just washed it so it's quite flat. Gorge. So yeah, very skin focused, glam, but it's not doing too much. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's still kind of natural. Loads of people would probably strongly disagree and say that this is like far too much makeup, but I don't know. I love it. This is just my go-to and I hope that that was easy enough to follow along and hopefully what I said made sense. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed filming that a lot more than I thought I would. I feel like I've put off trying YouTube and stuff because I get really nervous when I have to talk to the camera. I feel like it just doesn't come naturally to me. I've had to like force myself to do it. But yeah, I actually really liked filming that. So if I'm brave enough to post this, then let me know what else you'd like to see in the comments because... Maybe this can be a thing now. So yeah, I hope you liked it and I'll see you next time.